Welcome to the Fear and Greed Afternoon Market Report for Wednesday, the 6th of October, 2021, where in just a few minutes I tell you everything you need to know about what's happened in financial markets and the world of economics and business today. I'm Sean Aylmer. The S&P ASX 200 fell 0.6% today, continuing the slide from yesterday to close the session at 7,207 points. Commonwealth Bank, the biggest company in the country, led the market down, finishing nearly 2% lower. ANZ was off more than 1%, while Wes Farmers was another poor performer, off 1.3%. The worst today was the A2 Milk Company, which tumbled 7.7% and is now down 57% over the past year. A class action lawsuit has been filed against the infant formula maker over four earnings downgrades in a year. That's pretty incredible. A2 Milk is a company that didn't need any more bad news. Some of the travel stocks also fell back today, having run pretty hard in recent weeks. Flight Centre and Webjet both dropped more than 6%. Whitehaven Coal, on the other hand, continues to enjoy its renaissance on the back of much higher coal prices and a much stronger balance sheet. Whitehaven's share price has more than tripled since the middle of May and was up another 4% today. Some of the tech stocks, including Afterpay and REA, outperformed, as did QBE, Insurance Australia Group and BHP. In COVID news today, the new New South Wales Premier, Dominic Perrottet, said the state would ease some restrictions from Monday after reaching a 70% full vaccination rate. 592 cases were recorded today in the state, while in Victoria the number was 1,420. Almost 30 million jabs have now been given across the country. The Australian Prudential Regulation Authority said it would tighten rules around lending buffers for home loans in an effort to take some of the heat out of the market. And New Zealand Central Bank increased the official cash rate from 0.25% to 0.5%. It's only the second central bank among developed nations behind Norway to start lifting interest rates. Wall Street ended much higher this morning, though gains were paired back in late afternoon trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 both finished up around 1% while the Nasdaq closed 1.4% higher. The Aussie dollar is trading around 72.5 US cents. Brent crude is still trading above 82 US dollars a barrel. That's certainly helping the energy stocks. And natural gas today hit a seven and a half year high. Gold fell back a bit and is worth 1,750 US dollars an ounce. That's it for the afternoon market report for Wednesday, the 6th of October, 2021. Join me tomorrow morning for the Thursday edition of Fear and Greed and then for my chat to John Winters from trading platform Superhero. I'm Sean Elmer. Enjoy your evening.